Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us. It is Wednesday night. Wednesday night means 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons here with all of our brave heroes down inside underground in some kind of ancient unknown temple. They ran into a little bit of an issue last time and things should be pretty interesting to figure out exactly what's going on. So, got a little bit of late start tonight, but we're going to pick it up right where we left off from last episode. Here is... <coughs> Right at the end of the episode, uh, the magical circle starts spinning around and shoots out flames in all directions, uh, hitting just about everybody, doing massive amounts of damage. And uh, that, I think that's the last thing we did, so we'll just go ahead and pick it up from there. So, death and destruction lay all in front of you now. What do you wish to do? Well, I guess we should go recover what's left of Aaron Dirt. <laughs> I am, uh, yeah, I'm definitely bruised and battered. And, uh, but, uh, yeah. I don't know, I, I, I walk back. So, uh, yeah. the drought teleported away, right? Or is he still sitting there? No, I think the boy what was... What drought the boy. Boy. This man. Uh, okay. his charred remains are laying there on the ground, oh, yes. Oh, Valtelar, you've doomed us all, oh god! Oh, oh, so he killed him, oh no, that's even worse than I thought. Actually, that's a lot better than what I thought, because I thought he was going to explain that we have opened a portal into the abyss, but no, he's just a charred wreck now, you doomed us all because uh, now I'm dead and the rest doesn't matter. That is a much better scenario. <laughs> Um, I do have something to share with you. Um, you will have a handout that I am trying to show you at this point. Now that you're kind of up next to the glowing magical circle of magic, um, do you guys see the new handout? Uh, no, no I do not. Okay. Might take a little while for you guys to get it. It is a pretty big file. Okay. All right. As long as it says it's shared, I guess. Well, let's see. There we go. Yep. I wonder what it is. I wonder if I it's a fire portal. I haven't gotten it, but... You know where to look at your handouts, Chris? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Cool. Note to self. Learn under common. So, uh, <laughs> basically what you see um, is uh, eight kind of outer circles and inner circle. The uh, three, they're kind of facing to the what would be the, be the southwest? Um, you can see that their their um, magic has kind of been put out. If that's kind of a Ooh, bad way I to see. put it, but it's it's you can see that it's what's the way to put it? Um, it's expended. not as it's not yeah it's just not no it's not expended. It looks like it's just made um, dormant. Uh, inert or dormant or something like that. You can tell that there doesn't. There's no glowiness. There's no magic sparks flying up. There's no, you know, um, glowingness of it or anything like that. Uh, you notice that inside each one of the circles is some kind of a symbol, and uh, in front, in obviously in the middle symbol, there's also or in the middle center, there's a, a symbol as well. Um, you don't recognize any of the symbols. Uh, they're either in a language you don't understand or in some kind of magic form that you don't understand. Um, but you do notice that in the inert circles, um, the actual lettering has been kind of, um, what's the way, kind of been scrubbed away. Let's put it that way. Where it's like really faint, 
uh, instead of engraved in the stone, it's just kind of smooth rock there now. If that makes somewhat of a sense. Just so, just to make sure I understand which ones are inert, we're talking about the one that looks like a smiley, uh, weird-looking smiley face, the one that's straight south, right? <laughs> yeah, straight south to straight west. Yeah, they kind of got a southwest. like a green aura around them as opposed to the other ones that have a bright yellow aura. Yes, so the one straight west and straight south, and the one between these two look kind of dimmed out, pretty much. Yes, you see. Um, Still hovering above the magic circle, you see, you know, little glowing um, uh, magical essences kind of flowing and just moving around. It obviously looks like uh, the portal is still active. Hmm. Uh, can I, uh, <clears throat> can Chris refer to his logbook of the monastery, see if there's anything written about this or any sort of clue? Um, in the book itself, you uh, think back and, and and analyze everything you can think of, and nothing that you have ever come across um, is even remotely similar to this. Hmm. I don't, this I... um, the symbols and stuff on this portal are exactly the same as the portal that was in the room with the drill. By the way, okay. I'm kind of getting the feeling that this might be some sort of countdown. That's just how I feel, though. But would a countdown explode in our faces? <laughs> Before it was up. Before it was up. Yeah, I, I suppose. Then again, magic is always volatile. If they were trying to uh, change the countdown, it may have reacted poorly. I guess we should make a sketch of this and to bring it back up. I think I have some paper. You can write in my book. The log yeah, book. I got I got paper and some ink and pen. Uh, so okay. can I make a sketch of it? Sure, Try if you want. It's right. going to take you a little bit of uh, time to do that. I guess we can. Well, while he does that, I'll, I'll cast Prayer of Healing. It's my last Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Liana is also going to be... Uh, like drawing all the bodies into a circle and going wow. through them. Hey, I'm assuming no one's alive. Can uh, Chris grab a rock from this little pile here? I'm going to tell everybody to kind of take a step back behind the wall. And I'm going to try and throw a rock onto the little portal thing just to see if anything happens. And I'm gonna stand like right here and kind of toss it around the corner. Yeah, I just just to be careful. I just want to see if it has any reaction to anything landing on top of it, or you know, <laughs> I don't even want to be in the adjacent <laughs> yeah. room, and I don't want it to explode on everybody's faces. So, so I guess I'm gonna to toss a little rock. Okay, to um, toss the rock in kind of the middle of the portal there, and uh, it disappears. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I do not want to go in there, but I really want to see what's on the other side. Someone should go in there. I, I, I agree. Hmm. Hmm. How about this? Until we know that rock wasn't disintegrated, we don't go in the portal. <laughs> he said it disappeared, right? Or I mean, well, it could. We, for all we know, it disappeared. For all you know, it disappeared. It could have disintegrated. It could have vanished. It could just be invisible. All you know is, from your eyes, what you saw, it disappeared. Hmm. In the magical glowing um, aura that's flowing around the... Uh... Chris, you got healed for 17, by the way. Oh, okay, thank you. Can can I um? Let's see what I have in my inventory. Can I pull out my great sword and then hold on to one end, and then stick it into the into the portal? 
<laughs> uh, Liliano oh, no. would advise against that. Yeah, you're touching much. the great sword. I'm touching the great sword, but I I want to be completely out of the uh, completely out of the magic. Thing doesn't care. <laughs> Hold it over. Well, it might. I don't know. It, the great sword will either not be affected by the magic, or you'll both be transported. Do you say that? Like in it's, character? Yes. Or yes. Liliana is strongly advising against this course of action. Do not do what you are trying to do. Yeah, the two mages are advising against it. Mm. Okay, I'll listen to them, I suppose. I don't really know much about all that. I really wish we can consult somebody about this, but no one in town would know about it, huh? Yeah, Liliana... You haven't run across uh, that many really skilled, knowledgeable people in adventuring um definitely in you know seamanship and uh shipwriting and lumbering and you know the the, the minor craft skills shall we say uh, but you haven't really come across any you know hugely successful powerful magic users or anything like that right. can can we reach the symbols without getting into the middle of the you know what i mean like well, you can look portal. at the portal. Well, so... the this all the symbols, you know, like I said, this basically you have this magical aura that's just kind of spinning around, hovering over all the symbols. You can see the symbols in between, you know, where the where the little magical glow is without any problem. But, but there'd be no way to touch the symbols without getting into the middle of the teleporter. There wouldn't be any way to touch the symbols without engaging with the magical glowiness of sparks, yes. I say we uh, leave it be until we know what it is. I see there's a... I remember there was a little entrance over here. Uh, we can move a little forward, see what we find. Maybe we find some information about this object, or maybe another drow that we can interrogate. Uh, but that's the way that Chris suggests going for now. Does that pathway continue? Um, no one's went that way. Okay, well, let's go that way. Well, uh, Liliana's searching through all these drow. What do they have on them? <clears throat> they have, uh, armor, weapons, um... You uh, check through um, the one fellow there, and he has a uh, headband that has some inlays with some gems and stuff. Looks very nice, very, you know, like you, you know, could fetch a pretty good, you know, few dollars or a few gold pieces uh -huh. this from is the... Faltalar? Yes, Faltalar. Okay. And um, you notice that uh, Valterra there, the young drow, uh, mostly charred remains there. Um, you notice that inside, uh, kind of uh, in one of his pockets, he has the burnt remains of a book. Looks like some kind of a spell book or something. And uh -huh. um, some parchment paper that's, you know, mostly destroyed at this part. Mostly just ashes. Um, obviously, he has uh, looks like some pens, some scrolls that were all burned up. Most everything he had, obviously, is unfortunately been uh, disintegrated. Disintegrated. Yeah. yeah. He took. Uh, I believe he took the brunt of the attack. I think everybody dove out of the way and it just like engulfed him for some reason. Well, there's, our Liliana would assume if you're casting something magical over a long period of time and it backfires, the first thing it's going to do is follow the chain of magic back to you. Yeah. And then explode as, you know, an offhanded gesture. Oh yes, this also happens. But uh, looking through the uh, white-haired dro that try to uh, reach Faltilar and all these other guys, they don't all have some sort of uh, 
defining item on them. No. All right. What do you mean, defining item? Basically, what? I was looking for a house crest or something. Oh. Uh, no, you don't see anything like that on them. All right, so uh, I'll take Valtelar's uh, scorched spell book and his uh, circlet with the gems on it. The spell book was in, uh, yeah, Valtelar. Val um, the... Valtira, sorry. Valtira was the one that had the um, the head the head uh, piece there. Valtira? No, we just don't see his name. Well, the other drow. V-A-L-T-A-L. Yeah, the, 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 the other unique token. Dude. There is oh, Valtara. Yeah. Valtarla. And then there is the other drow, this one here. Okay. Yeah, we just don't see that name. Yeah, so. you didn't actually get to introduce yourselves, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Chris, you're down here in this um, this little area down in the corner here. Um, yep. Basically, <clears throat> after uh, oops, hello, why can't I click on that button? Hello, um, kind of investigated. It just kind of goes to a dead end there in a big cavern. Oh, okay, so just circles around. Yeah, it just kind of circles around. You know, search around for a little bit. You don't come across anything. Um, everything just looks like a cavern back in there. Okay. Well, so there's a dead end. So we can either go down this hole or through the portal. Problem with going down the hole is I'm not sure if my Featherfall ring has any more magic in it. For today, mm -hmm. at least. Should we head back up into town, or do you guys want to press forward into the portal, or what do you guys I, think we should do? I believe we've only been down here for like, uh... Two hours, three. Well, there's the one hour walk, and then... An yeah, hour this, rest. An hour rest, and then this probably took two hours, or like an hour and a half, maybe, just looking at everything, so... We've spent, like, in most three and a half hours. We know we're going to have another hour to go back up. But I think we do have the time to explore, even though we are running low on our magical inspiration. I guess we could just scout for a little bit. When you uh, healed everyone, John, uh, who did you heal? Just so we know. I think I have enough. If everyone's close enough, and I'm sure I would have waited to where everyone is nearby, I can heal six, so I probably would have healed everyone. Yeah, we're all. Okay, so zero should have some uh, back to his full then. Yeah. I'm saying that's super powerful. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, it's broke in. How come I. Oh, I don't know why I can't. Well, click on it. It, does, it takes ten minutes, so it's not like you can do that in the middle of combat. So it, right, yeah. right, right. It's more of a thing. I know, it's just teasing. Yeah. <laughs> so I got the circlet, the You notice book. that the um the the hole that goes to, into the underground there, um you see it just disappear down into the darkness below. Looks like there's some kind of a cavern or something down below you guys there. Well, I guess we could check that out. And uh, did any of these drow, their weapons and armor, are they like distinctively drow? They are drow weapons, yes. Okay, so Liliana will take one of their weapons and put it in her pack. Okay. Just as a, there are drow, we are not crazy, look at this sword. Okay. Uh, Chris is gonna go ahead and kick up, kick a rock down this chasm to see how deep it goes. Ooh, yeah. And Liliana is going to uh, go over to the spider and uh, make a survival check, if that's still a thing, to try and remove the poison sack from it. Okay. 
after she's already stabbed it like a lot. <laughs> Ooh. All right. So you've got some kind of parts, PC parts, bloody, gutsy, yucky, gooey, messy stuff. What I can only assume is the poison sack, but I don't want to test it out. And I'll uh, wrap that up in cloth and stick it in a pouch in my pack. Okay. Um, Chris, the rock kind of tumbles down a little bit, and um, you hear kind of echoing back up the uh, the chamber there. Do we have any rope left? Uh, Liliana does have the required 60 feet of rope. Yeah, we brought that. Um, should we just go bumbling down there, or should I use spider climb and scout ahead? Uh, how many... I guess you need an hour for a rest. I still have I, one spell slot left. Yeah, but I'm not sure we want to uh, spend an hour we don't need if uh if we can tie the rope around a substantial block and just go down naturally i think that might be the best option if we want to uh cut down on time well this whole area might, has kind of been hit by an earthquake we might also need your spider climb to get back out of this pit that we're in right now yeah, but I, I get my spells back in a short rest. So. Well, I'm just saying if you go down and scout. Yeah, right. Then I you guess, have to use it to get back up. Yeah, it'd be like hour after hour after hour. And we still are not certain that the mist won't penetrate this far in. Oh, yeah. Because either way, we'll, yeah, we'll have to leave the rope here. And then I can't use any spells until we decide to come back. Because we're running short uh -huh. on time. So Liliana will just, uh, actually, no. Liliana does not know anything about tying ropes. She's a noble lady. She will ask Chris. if anyone knows how to tie a rope. <laughs> and Chris she knows. will pull out a silk rope from her pouch and hand it to you. Okay. All right, well, Chris takes the rope, and uh, he's very versed in survival skills. So I guess Wait, uh, well, you want me we have to find out what to tie it to. You mm. tell me what you're tying it to. Yeah, because we need to suspend a, a guy in full plate armor. Well, uh, how much of this rubble is rubble? Can we find a massive block that weighs three, four hundred pounds? Um, most of it's crushed up rubble. Um. I don't think you could find one that's going to be big enough to really hold up to the weight of... Well, how... Uh, Why don't we just hold it while one person goes down and then we figure how's out... How's the last person get down? Yeah. Well, if, how if, do you... If we're gonna stay oh, down, we could have Zero hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Zero. We'll see you later. We can at least figure out if it's worth going down. It might not even be worth going down. How uh, deep does this hole look? Uh, about... 60, 80 feet down. Okay, so we definitely need something close to the edge. I was thinking maybe we could tie it to a door and then, like, drape it over the side, but we would still need more rope after that. I think we had two 50 feet of rope, 100 feet. Oh, if, if we have another rope, we could do a knot pretty easily, and then we could climb down. I think I gave all my rope to you. Because I don't have it in my inventory. Could go in the portal. <laughs> the only That's what I was thinking. I was like, I think let's go check out that portal. See what happens. I just don't even <sighs> want to get teleported to a, a drow fortress. And no way out. Yeah, the only problem with the portal is it may disintegrate us, first of all. Liliana just wants to get that out there. We may die if we go in it. And secondly, there is no, uh, there's no guarantee that if we go in the portal, we can come back. So we would want to be fully rest and stocked with supplies if we were to go in. Although, then again, on the disintegration notion, 
it does have similar markings to the one in the monastery, but then again, it may just be a uh, similar language and not similar magical connotations. Well, I think it's safe to bet that the people by the drill were the same people, were drow. Well, they were drow, but uh, Zero did mention that those drow looked considerably uh, less professional and well-off than these drow. And there was an explosion, so, I mean, how do we even know that it's taken us to the right spot? It could be malfunctioning. Like, I think it's the fact that it might be malfunctioning is probably a pretty high up on the list there. Yeah, that's also true. Some of these lights are not on when they probably should be. Like, it could take us to, like, the completely wrong spot, or, I mean, I, I don't know anything about malfunctioning. Or it may take half of us there, half of us yeah. not. Yeah. I don't know about Warp stepping into, into a it. wall. I'm, I'd be down to investigate it a little bit more, but stepping into it is a little bit mm. risky. I pull up the we... sword again, <clears> and I <throat> I go to reach into the reach. In, I want to touch touch the the far left thing with my greatsword. Okay, um, you guys see Endor disappear. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> uh, Liliana is going to scramble in after him because oh my oh. god, oh. oh great! If he gone, if he's gone, she knows he doesn't have very much, very many spells <sighs> left, and. It's the right thing to do. If one person goes, she has to go too. Here we go. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess this is this is happening. This is famous last words. This is it, huh? So you're gonna enter into the broken ass portal of death. <sighs> when has Liliana ever shirked from danger? Never. She's, she's always right in. She's always trying to protect people. I'm surprised she Eric didn't do a belly flop into it to begin yeah. with. Surprised you didn't go like, let's go guys! Erendur has gotten himself into something she knows not what and she needs to help him. So, so basically as, as Erendur kind of touched, you know, carefully reaches his sword, it kind of the magic just kind of circles around and just sucks him right into it and whoosh! He vanishes in front of your eyes as it disintegrates into a million bazillion little molecules. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he just okay. disappears. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm going to go in after them, too, I guess. This is going to go horribly, just saying. <laughs> okay. I do, not, I do not dispute you there. So uh, Liliana, oops, disappears. Oops. And Piro disappears. Chris kind of mutters to himself, this is crazy. <laughs> and he jumps into Mr. Biggles with him. <laughs> I don't know if Mr. Biggles will follow. All right. So uh, you guys, you feel this really dizzy sensation. You're kind of spinning around in time and space. And before you know it, you kind of shake your cobwebs and, Blink your eyes, and in just a matter of moments, you have entered the afterlife. Yeah, you've <laughs> entered the afterlife. I have to adjust something here. How did these get all messed up? And Zero makes a small religious motion and walks back and starts to climb up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, if we get surrounded by Drow, you know exactly what to say, don't worry. I hate Drow, you're all going to die. Okay. <laughs> as soon as we get out of the portal, I'm like, uh, okay. Start punching I'm faces. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah, my, my bad. You guys, you guys, you guys are right on that one. Oops, excuse me, pardon me, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, who am I missing here? Um, oh, there's Chris's. Gotta make sure I got all the characters. Where's, um, where's zero? Oh, there's zero. Okay. Two, four, do, 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 do. Yeah. Okay. Trying, trying to make sure going. I got everybody before I copy and paste everything here. Yeah, I'll just say, well, this is a never winter. That guy oh, scammed us. 
Guys, can just. <laughs> just uh, trying to make sure everything's lined up properly here. And I was looking forward to seeing what the Red Sirens were doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a, that's a distant memory at this point. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me move your thingy-mabobber over there. Make sure I'm ready to go. I think I am. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. This uh -oh. is a Neverwinter. <laughs> Oh, jeez. This is the pub. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I look pretty up. I look pretty upset. I'm just resizing tokens. I'm not pinging yeah. for any particular reason. Somehow, the tokens got messed up. Oh boy. All right, um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put a cut into this episode here before we get back into exactly what had happened. And be sure to come right back to find out exactly where did our brave adventures end up. We'll see you next time, folks. Thanks for watching.